Welcome to Mix the Method, the Method of Inquiry, Volume 1 of 2. Uh, here we are going to talk about the most important missing elements uh, whenever we are writing a research methodology or whenever we are carrying out our research. So it's very important for you to uh, listen to this video uh, and uh, make sure that you apply some of the uh, tips or, that you get from this presentation. Unlike the other file, it's very important that mix the method of the researchers. You need to make sure that you pay attention to detail. And one of the books that you need to uh, need to take um, or to consider as one of your companion is the um, research design by Caswell 2012. Uh, so if you are carrying out that research, make sure that you go on internet and uh, download that, uh, that textbook. Um, it's not just a matter of uh, taking qualitative and quantitative method and just uh, put them in your study and you go out there, start collecting and come back and write. Maybe for masters you might get away with that, but for PhD students there is more detail that is expected for you to, uh, to, 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 to explain or to include uh, in your research methodology. So this series, they, are, they aim to highlight some of the most important elements of mixed method that you need to make sure that you include as you write your, your chapter on, on research methodology. I'm not going to go into depth, into depth uh, with the, the detail uh, on, 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 on the research uh, paradigm or on all those elements. I'm just going to highlight them to you, but maybe in the near future, we are going to talk into detail, we are going to go into detail with some of them. But for now, we're just going to give you a tip so that whenever you write, you just have to go, uh, reflect um, those elements uh, that you are supposed to include or the must include elements as you write your, 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 your research methodology chapter. So this missing puzzle is the research paradigm. Do not um, ignore or do not skip the, the the research paradigm. You need to specify the research paradigm. Uh, um, in actual fact, you might need to specify it uh, in the opening um, uh, paragraphs of your of your methodology. Maybe after you have stated to us about the purpose of your study, then I think the next uh, paragraph that should come should be uh, on should deal with the research research paradigm. So what is it? It is just the belief or assumption that you hold, or beliefs and assumptions that provide the structure of your research. So it does not necessarily need to be, uh, to be, uh, to be, uh, to to be something that is a, that 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 is uh, that is written down as a, as a as a paradigm. But actually, the beliefs that you hold yourself uh, can actually we can actually refer them as a as a research paradigm. However, when we are doing a research, we have got a certain uh, beliefs or we have certain paradigms that we, we that, that, that are scientific, let me put that way, that are scientific, uh, that are out there that we expect you to use. And those paradigms, they guide all areas of your research plan. And I'm using the word research plan for a plan, for, for a reason, research plan for a reason, uh, including the aim of your study, research question, instrument, um, and the analysis. We expect you to Make sure that whenever you choose your, your paradigm, you align all your aims, you align your instrument, you align your research, um, your, your data collection uh, method and analysis um, along that, that paradigm. We don't want to see that, um, we don't want to, to see you um, mixing, the, mixing paradigms in between um, maybe interpretivism and and positivism, and you don't actually tell us why, what is actually happening as you, as you write. So it's very important for you to make sure that you, you align uh, whatever uh, research paradigm that you have chosen with all your research research plan. And for those who are the lovers of mixed method research, um, pragmatism is the way to go. And the pragmatism have got its roots uh, in, in the late 19th, 19th and early 20th century, uh, emerging in the United States. And uh, if you just go and read, you know that the, the fathers for this uh, uh, pragmatism uh, approach um, are, are three of them, that is Charles, William, and, and John. So it's very important for you to just have a, a brief background of what actually happened, what's actually um, um, transpired, or what motivated that the, the, this paradigm uh, to emerge. And the one most important thing about this paradigm is that it is recognized that um, reality is continuously changing. Uh, reality is not static. This is 
why I, I, I like this uh, uh, this this approach, especially when you are using, um, especially when you are when you are researching uh, in a complex research setting, a multi-layer research setting, or where people try to hide whatever they are doing, and you are going there to investigate. Uh, for you to make sure that you make some break, uh, you need to make sure that you you also. You, you 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 take or you you adopt it, uh, pragmatism. Um, also, with the what works best principle, uh, it allows some degree of flexibility. You can actually bring in some of the most important uh, things that uh, you could have left. You can also drop things that are not working. Uh, you can actually yeah you can actually play around with it, the different uh, method as you as you collect your data if you adopt uh, pragmatism as compared to uh, to positivism or to to interpretivism um, paradigms. Yes, so it's very important for you to make sure that you specify your research paradigm. Do not leave the research paradigm. Unfortunately, you do not have a right to select the crop. It's just either this or that. You have got just a few and uh, paradigms, and it's very important that you need to understand. And if you are planning to go for your for your for your PhD, make sure that you read on the research paradigm. There are actually three main research paradigms. That you can, you, you, these days you, you find that there's so much uh, paradigm that are coming, but they are only stemming from the three, which is interpretivism, uh, positivism, and and pra uh, pragmatism. So these are just the three that most of those are coming. So if you just go and read these three, uh, you tend, tend to stand a chance to make sure to to to, to be able to have a, a, a paradigm to use whenever you are writing your 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 uh, your research proposal or whenever you are writing your research methodology. Please don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel Masters and Doctoral Degree Tips and Tricks. It's very important that you subscribe. There are so many videos that are there. I think as I speak now, we are more than 40 videos. Uh, together, we can promote academic excellence by using technology and innovation. Uh, thank you. Don't forget to, to share this uh, video with the friends and uh, don't also forget uh, to encourage everyone to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.